had a dream last night that we were putting on a play or something, and I was with uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, if you know who that is, you can look him up. Um, he was just like one of my friends or something, and then this group came in, and it was Heath Ledger when he played in 10 Things I Hate About You, like with the long hair and everything, and Jenna Malone and a couple of other people, they came in and they kidnapped Joseph Gordon-Levitt and they took him away. <clears throat> and so me and a couple of my friends, we wanted to go save our friend, Joe, I guess. Um, and so we wanted to go save him, but we knew these were really dangerous people or whatever. So we eventually found them. Maybe we didn't find them. Maybe I was just watching them in like a third person sense. And they were sitting on a bridge and they had kind of made Joseph, one of his, one of their, like, crew, because they were, like, a gang or whatever, but Heath Ledger, for some reason, really did not like him, and, like, Jenna Malone was hanging all over him, like, they were a couple and stuff like that, and so Heath Ledger, he kicks Joseph off the bridge, like, he just, like, kicks him, and he, Joseph manages to grab onto a chain so he doesn't, like, fall or whatever, be, but Jenna Malone got thrown off with him and she falls but it turns out that the ground is covered in like spikes and barbed wire so Jenna Malone is like dead and so they pull her out somehow and Joseph's all angry at Heath Ledger for killing Jenna Malone and so then my group shows up to save Joseph Gordon-Levitt and we find this body of this girl and we're like, oh, this is bad. And so then we try to save him, and then somehow I managed to get my in my entire right leg cut off. Yeah, they cut off my right leg. Well, we managed to save Joseph Gordon-Levitt and get back to the church where we were putting on this little play. And the doctor from Firefly was there, and so he sewed my leg back on. But... I was having a really hard time with it because it wasn't healed or anything, it was just kind of like stitched on and we were waiting for it to heal so that I could use my leg again. But then all of a sudden these two people came in and they were like trying to make it look like they weren't going to blow up the church but I knew that they were. So I walked over, or hobbled over, and my seam I guess on my leg started like gushing blood again but I didn't care because I needed to get to these people because they were going to blow up the church and kill everybody. And so I walk, I get over there and it's a, it's a really small girl and a really small guy and so this girl is opening like this lunch box like trying to make it look like she's not doing anything but I see this tiny little capsule which I know is full of explosives that are going to kill everybody. So I sneakily like grab it and I'm like what is this and she's like you can't have that and she starts like chasing me and I'm like trying to run but my leg was cut off and so I can't really run and but then I a group of people come to help me and they're like what's going on and I'm like ah she's got this explosive and we need to it's gonna explode or something I don't know so we had to get to this conference room because it was big enough that the explosion would be contained in the conference room and there were a couple people holding the girl and the guy that were trying to blow up the church and so they were holding them and they carried them off and there's about four or five people in this conference room and I had the little capsule and it was starting to bubble so I knew it was about to explode and it and then I just told everyone that they should leave because I couldn't leave the explosive because I knew the girl was gonna come back for it or something so I had to stay with the explosive until it exploded and the entire time my leg is killing me because hello I got a limb chopped off so my legs in tons of pain and it's bleeding and I'm holding this explosive and everybody leaves me except for this one guy and he's like a teacher or something and I'm like what are you doing you have to leave and he's like I don't have anyone in this world and if you have to die you shouldn't have to die alone and so he took my hand and I think we were about to explode when I woke up. And I found my legs still attached. So that was nice. Okay, bye. <laughs>